Bandits mock Nigeria army, says they are attacking the wrong bandits. <laughs> when I saw this news, I decided to share it with you guys. I can't begin to imagine how a terror bandit having the courage, the infantry, to send letter to the Nigerian army that they are attacking the wrong people. But the question is, who are the real terror bandits the Nigerian army claim to have been tackling all this whole time? Now the news in detail. A letter allegedly sent by bandits made mockery of ongoing military operations on their hideout saying no amount of military personnel can stop them from discharging their normal business of unleashing terror on Nigerians. The Buhari's government had boosted the efficacy of its recent military operations against bandits in Zafar state in a recent statement by the special advisor to President Muhammad Buhari on media and publicity, Femi Adeshino. In the different evil forest, when the Nigerian Air Force strikes from the sky, the remnants of the evil dwarves not killed immediately attempt to flee. The ground troops then pick them off like flies. I say it again, one has never been powder of our troops. They are cleaning up the country. Adeshino had said it in an article on his Facebook wall on Thursday titled, I like this pampering, don't you? While considerable sources may have been achieved on the fight against banditry, the recent letter, however, did send the residents of border villages in Shokoto state into huge panic mode after a previous attack was carried out by bandits in the same area last week, killing several people. The letter, which was written in Hausa language, also contained a notice of impending against Shuni, a community in Danje, Shuni local government area of Sokoto state. The alleged notice of attack was discovered late on Saturday under a tree in Shuni district, Danje, Shuni local government. A resident revealed according to the report. The note is written in Hausa language by suspected bandits threatening to destroy the villages of Shuni, Kwana, Kimba, Wikina and Danje and it has thrown residents into panic, the source stated. The writer also boosted in the alleged notification that no force could stop them from carrying out their threat. A million army personnel will not stop us from carrying out the attack, which may be carried out any moment from now, the alleged notice stated. Nigerians were thrown into confusion following a recent report claiming some bandits who fled from the ongoing military operation in Zafara state on several motorcycles were on Friday ambushed along Maganda village in Shiroro local government area of Niger state and killed by men of the Nigerian armed forces. According to the report, citing local sources close to Alawa community, most of the bandits notarialized resembled foreigners, saying, from the dead bodies that we saw, they are not Nigerians, these are foreigners. All of them are carrying long hair like women. The report cast doubt as to whether or not the bandits being attacked by the Nigerian forces are actually the same ones Sheikh Ahmed Gumi has been advocating for amnesty. Also from available footage of bandits seen with Sheikh Ahmed Gumi and based on testimonies of freed kidnapped victims, it is unclear which of the bandits are being picked up like flies as described by Femi Adeshino. Alright guys, um, that is it for the news now. Here is my opinion. Yeah, it is so disappointing that um, these terror groups that have terrorized Nigeria, they now have the courage to face the Nigerian army. They also bully the Nigerian government after the several atrocities they have committed. And no matter how bad or critical the situation Nigeria is or Nigeria are facing, despite the lack of good leadership we have in the country, the Bwai government are not living to expectations. Now, if we take a look at um, the way the bandits are attacking innocent people, who the Nigerian army claim to have crushed, calling for war has always been the solution for these bandits. And yet, the Nigerian government still grant them amnesty. So who is fooling who now? The Nigerian army have suffered through these bandits' actions, several actions they've committed against them. And what we don't seem to understand is that this terror group, the bandits, have over the years developed escape routes when they attack, 
That is why the military forces can never locate them easily. So now, the Nigerian government, they are now granting this terrorist amnesty. To the terror group, show mercy to their victims, the one they have kidnapped, the people, the innocent people they have killed, because they only treat them as their victims. And back then, um, during the Niger Delta militant, the time they were uh, fighting the Nigerian army, when they were attacking the Nigerian armed forces, they had accused the Nigerian army of attacking them first, before they now strike back. And the truth of the matter is that religious extremists, which is going on everywhere, have unraveled this country. And again, so many people will say that um, the Islamic cleric um, Sheikh Gumi should be in custody, the DSS custody, being the godfather of the bandits because he knows everything about them, he understands them, he knows their hideout. So as some people will also say he should be prosecuted for being the spokesperson for Boko Haram. And what baffles me is that the Boko Haram are not classified as a terrorist organization by the Nigerian government, despite their atrocities. Instead, the government are busy chasing out the separatists, the non-violent groups led by Mazinam Dekano and Sunday Adeyemo, popularly known as Sunday Go. This is a shame. What a shame to the Nigerian army that was established to protect the lives and properties of the citizens. What a shame to the poor leadership in the country. What a shame to the Buhari's government itself. So if the terror bandits have the courage to warn the Nigerian army, that means um, we have nobody. We have nobody to protect us. That means again we have more terrorists in Nigerian uniform. Because the same military personnel in the same society will take place in killing innocent citizens that we are meant to protect. I'm telling you, it is very unbelievable to see all these things happening, this current crisis, the way the terror groups are attacking, or is it the way the Nigerian army has handed over ammunition to bandits during their attacks? So the question is, where do these bandits come from? Some say they are from the neighborhood. Some say that they have been planning to take over the Nigerian government for a very long time. That is why they have gained access to attack freely without being stopped by any security personnel. What more harm could the innocent people suffer from these bandits, most especially the people in the north? They are attacking the schools, the study centers, despite the fact that the northerners are the people in power. How come they are suffering more? How long will the people suffer more from these terror bandits terrorizing the country? Alright guys, um, we have come to the end of the news. Kindly share your thoughts on the comment section below. What do you think is the best solution to overcome bandit attacks in every part of Nigeria? And do you think giving the bandit amnesty is the best solution like Sheikh Ahmed Gumi has always wanted and he has always advised the Nigerian government to do it? Well, we know for sure that the Nigerian government's effort is not enough to tackle insurgency banditry. Alright guys, um, that is it for you all. I want to thank you for your support on this channel is not taken for granted and please don't forget to subscribe like and share and you can as well subscribe to our other youtube channel for more news updates at jesus loves you channel and glee info see you next time till i come your way bye bye bye